Hello friends, welcome to my new Java programming tutorial. Today we will discuss what happens in the process of creation, compilation and execution of a Java program. Friends, when we want to develop a Java application or say when we want to create a Java program, we have to create one or more Java classes. So here if you want to create a Java class or say a Java program, we need something like Java IDE such as Eclipse or NetBeans or any text editor, editor such as Notepad and Notepad++. So what this editors and Java IDE does for us, it help us to create, modify and save our Java classes. So whenever we write any source code, Java source code, we just write on this IDs or text editor and after writing the source code, we save the, the file with .java extension. So friends, in those Java ID such as Eclipse, when we write a source code, we first create a class, say here we say the example, we have created a class public class welcome. In that public class welcome, we have a method public static void main and in that void method, we have written system.out.println which takes in an say a string welcome to www.hoverspot.com so when we run this program what happens is just prints welcome to www.hoverspot.com on the console so this is our source code and we save this file by the extension .java and the file name would be welcome.java so friends after creation of our source code we just uh, make the bytecode of it here the welcome.java is a human readable file so in order to make JVM understand this human readable form we have to just uh, pass it through a Java compiler so here Java compiler uh, will take this source code which is the .java file and convert it into the .class file which is our bytecode so here it takes welcome.java which is our Java source code and translate it to welcome.class which is our bytecode and if we see here it's a it's a machine language say instruction which is which are going to be uh, interpreted by the java virtual machine that is jvm so in the mean in the process of compilation if suppose there are say some errors then what we have to do we have to again modify the source code and we have to again repeat the whole process till the compilation error goes so when we get welcome dot class it is nothing but a bytecode and this is what the JVM understands so JVM understands it and what it sees it sees it is a sequence of instruction which uh, which it runs and does the things what we want from the program so the, J the JVM which is nothing but the Java interpreter if you want to run this program what we will do we will just execute a command say java welcome and it will run the program and whatever will be the output it will just print that output on the console and here in our case it will print welcome to www.hubberspot.com and suppose after running the program if suppose the results are not according to us or say any runtime errors then what we have to do we have to just again modify the source code and process everything once again we have to just save it as a dot java java file and then we have to again pass it to the compiler by executing the co the co command java c java c is nothing but a, a command which just makes compiler compile the dot java file into dot class file which is nothing but the bytecode which jvm understands so after creation of this bytecode the dot class file what we have to just if you want to run this then we will have to uh, pass it to the JVM which will interpret each and every line of it and and when we run say suppose we run by the command java welcome it will run the program and whatever will be the output it will just print over the console so friends this was the way in which the creation compilation and execution of a java program goes into java programming language so friends if you like this video then please like us on Facebook and YouTube, share this video on Facebook with your friends and if you have any comments to share then share it below.
you can also subscribe my video on YouTube and you can also visit my blog at www.hubberspot.com for more Java tutorials and source code. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Take care. Bye bye.